What is going on guys, it's Asher here, welcome back to another Wolves video. Today I'm going to be looking at areas we need to strengthen uh, next season, especially with the Europa League coming up next season as well, which is definitely um, going to be uh, a massive obstacle. Starting with the first place I think we need to strengthen, I think is definitely... Um, the defence. The defence is good. Don't get me wrong, the defence is quite good. Cody and Bolly at the back, absolutely solid. But some defenders that we've got in there, I think we need to change uh, and get rid of. Um, one most likely, I think, is Ryan Bennett. I haven't been Ryan Bennett's... Uh, one of Ryan Bennett's massive fans. He was good in the championship. He was good. We Cody him... Um, well, it was more Cody and Bolly, but when, when Bennett came in, it, he was alright. But in the Premier League, I think he's not suited to Premier League level. He's more of a championship defender uh, for me. He's more of a championship defender, and I don't think he's Premier League quality. Um, especially in the defence, uh, the wing-back roles are so key to how we play. Johnny and Doty, obviously Johnny we've got, he was on loan during the season, now he's permanent. Um, he, now he's a permanent transfer, he's permanently a Wolves player. They're, they're, so, they're so key. They really are so key to the way we play. Uh, Johnny and Doty in those wing back roles, and um, yeah, that's something we really need to keep because if if Doty and Johnny, uh, especially Doty, who's been at the club for a long time, but if if Doty, if Doty can put those kind of performances in, in in competitions like the Europa League, clubs, I reckon will be go um, will be having a look at him midfield. Um, Midfield, I think, was sound again in midfield. Um, obviously, the pick of the midfielders, we've got experience with Jean Moutinho. Um, obviously, we've got Ruben Neves, um, who has bags of potential. Uh, we also have Romain Sace, who's kind of like a rotation player. Um, you can, I guess, you could bring him off from, uh, you could bring him off for the bench. Um, and he, and he, obviously, he's a much a, a rotation player that can uh, come in for injured or suspended players um, and, he, and he slots quite well into the centre back role as well um, when Willie Bolly was suspended uh, for a few games um, uh, early on in the year uh, early on in 2019 uh, he slots in quite well um, into the centre back role we definitely have to keep hold of uh, Ruben Nevers although he has um, he has said um, he, ha he has said publicly to to many outlets that he, he is staying uh, many times before so um, yeah massive uh, price tabs coming in for him ex in excess of 50 million pounds from teams like Ma Liverpool and Manchester United and even Bayern Munich as well I think as well so yeah we've definitely got to keep try and keep hold of him Jean Moutinho, he's aging now. He's um, he's in his mid thirties now, um, but he he offers that experience into the midfield, um, and that is something uh, we need to keep hold of because obviously in a, a few years Jean Moutinho is going to be inevitably inevitably retiring because he's going to be in his um, in a few years he's going to be in his late thirties. Um, and getting closer to his 40, so he's good. we need to utilise that experience of Jamatinho as long as possible, and so that's something we need to try and keep hold of. We've got lo loads of potential, like Morgan Gibbs White, Ruben Vanagra, um, um, and Ruben Neves, who have loads of potential, um, mixed in with Jamatinho, who has loads of experience, and it's just finding that balance uh, between experience and. Um, and potential and up front I don't think much needs changing up front because we've got perfect partnership with Jimenez and Jota obviously Jimenez um, being bought permanently for 30 million pounds um, or something along those lines um, and Jota as well they're fundamental um, we, we wouldn't have got we wouldn't have got to where we got um, in the Premier League if it wasn't for Diego Jota uh, and Raul Jimenez um, up front providing the goals. Obviously we've been linked with um, 
with um, West Brom striker Salomon Rondon, um, probably as, 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 as support as well um, in, in competitions like the Europa League um, as backup. Because I don't, I don't obviously, I don't really see Salomon Rondon um, replacing either Raul Jimenez or, or Diego Chossi, especially Raul Jimenez, where we've just played a massive fee for him. If you did enjoy um, uh, this war video, make sure to smash that like button, and I shall see you on Friday with a review of the Nations League semi final between N Netherlands and England. Until then, goodbye, guys!